And now to health matters, about 40 million women in Nigeria between the age between age 15 and 45 are at risk of developing cervical cancer due to poor awareness and lack of access to health care services. This, among other issues, were others were views of medical experts during a six-day free medical outreach to women in Borono State. TVC News, Jesse Tafida reports. Cervical cancer, though a preventable disease, still has an estimated mortality of about 40% among women in the country. Screening is known to be highly effective in reducing the incidences, morbidity and mortality associated with the disease. But that seems to have failed due to poor access to healthcare facilities in the country. But today, these 250 women are among the lucky ones to be screened free of charge, courtesy of the Victoria Wike Foundation. The women are survivors of the 12th year Boko Haram insurgency, and this gesture is expected to give them a sense of belonging. The project is coming at this time because um, we saw the need to have this screening conducted in this part of the country. We understand that um, most of the women in this part of the country do not, or if not compelled, do not really present themselves for cervical cancer screening. So we've taken the bull by the horn to go to the communities to mobilize, sensitize, and give them the awareness on why they need to be screened. Dr. Fatima Rahiz, who is an expert, notes that the disease can be managed if diagnosed early. It's a cancer that arises as a, from the mouth of the womb. And then the problem is, it's, uh, it should, once it has progressed to that cancer, there is no definitive cure, it's just palliative. Uh, you're not even sure, cause of uh, chemotherapy, radiotherapy. So if we are able to get women early before it progresses into that cancer, because it's a, it's a friendly cancer actually. We need more specialists and then we need more people into this cervical cancer um, screening program. The attention of the federal government has been drawn to make efforts towards increasing its national capacity for prevention, early detection and treatment of the ailment so as to reduce its mortality. Beneficiaries of this free medical outreach appreciate this intervention and are optimistic that this will go a long way in improving their health. Jesse Tofida, TVC News, Maiduguri.